Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mathematics. In this question, we have been given three circles touching each other externally. And there is a red region area bounded by all the three circles. We have to find the perimeter of this red area. Out of these three circles, two circles radius are given to be equal. That is 1 plus root 2. Third circle radius is equal to 1. So first we will use the concept of circles touching each other externally. If two circles touch each other externally, distance between center of circles equal to sum of their radii. So what we will do is we will just draw a line joining the center of these circles. So this is the circle, the center is defined here. This is the center of this circle, this is the center of this circle. Now there is a line joining the center of these circles is already drawn. I will draw a line joining the center of these two circles since they are touching externally. And another line from here till here. So now the distance between center of circle is equal to sum of their radii. The radius is R. Here the radius is also capital R. The distance between these two centers is capital R plus small r. Same is the case here for these two circles also. So for every case of circles touching each other externally, you always have to draw the line joining the center of two circles. So now in the next case, we can see this figure of a triangle. Now I know that to define the perimeter of this red area, if somehow I am can define the angles at the center of these circles. So the perimeter will be defined by these arc length, which I can add and get the final answer. Now to define this angle, what I will do is I will draw this point and I will join this point with this vertex of the triangle. Now why did I do that? Just take a look at this triangle. This is an isosceles triangle because this side length is small r plus capital R. This is also small r plus capital R. So this is the vertex and this is the base of the isosceles triangle. And if you take a look at this point, this is the midpoint of the base. We know the property in isosceles triangle. Midpoint of the base with the opposite vertex, if you will join, that line will always be perpendicular. And we can see this from the symmetry also. These two circles are of same radius. This is a different radius. This will be symmetrical. So this line will be nothing but the tangent to this two blue circles definitely. So this is the common tangent line. So we have drawn this 90 degree triangle. Now I can easily find this angle theta. How? Just using trigonometry. So cos theta is base upon hypotenuse, capital R upon capital R plus small r. Capital R is 1 plus root 2. This is 1 plus root 2 plus 1. So 1 plus root 2 upon 2 plus root 2. From 2 plus root 2, you can take root 2 common. It can be written as root 2 plus 1. Because if you will multiply root 2, you will get 2 plus root 2. That is the same value. So we can see that these values will cancel out. So cos theta is 1 by root 2. So theta is nothing but 45 degree. So we have found these angles that is 45 degree. Now I can even define this angle because 90, 45. So it must be 45 degree. This angle will also be 45 degree. So we have defined the angles at the center of circle. This will be 45 plus 45, 90. This is 45, this is 45. Now I will use the formula of arc length to define the perimeter of red area. Arc length formula is 2 pi r theta divided by 360 degree. So theta are the angles here 45, 45 and 90. And r are the radius of the corresponding circles. So now to define the arc length, first I will define this arc length, then this arc length, then this arc length. And I will simply add these lengths that will be the perimeter of this red area. So the perimeter will be 2 pi capital R 45 by 360, 2 pi capital R 45 by 360, these two arc length. This is 2 pi small r 90 by 360. So these are the values that I will add. If you take a look at these values, these two values are same. So if I will add these value, 45 plus 45 will become 90. So this will be something like this, 2 pi capital R 90 by 360, 2 pi small r 90 by 360. This is 1 by 4, this is also 1 by 4. So you can take common 2 pi by 4, which is nothing but pi by 2. Inside it will be capital R plus small r. Capital R plus small r is 1 plus root 2 plus 1, that is 2 plus root 2. So this is the perimeter of this red shaded region area. If you can think of any other method to solve this problem, feel free to share in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video.